Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Sovereign, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to solve the Rubik's Cube in the easiest beginner method. The first thing you need to know is the parts of a Rubik's Cube. This is an edge. This is a corner. And this is obviously a center. Now, we sh we'll learn the opposites of each color. Orange is opposite of red. Blue is opposite of green. Yellow is opposite of white. Now, let's get solving. Let's scramble up a cube. Okay, now we have a scramble cube up. We'll start solving. The first thing you need to do is a daisy. I want you to be the, da the daisy to be like this. I recommend it to be like this. This type of pattern right over here. If you got that, it's good for you. Now, let's start on with the white cross. Okay, now look around your cube on the first layer of the cube. So, after you've done that, can you notice something? So first, you've got a white edge. You need a white edge on top of the cube. And any color over here. I have my blue color and matching with the same center. If you've got this with any color, I got blue. So you can do red, orange, anything. If you got this, you can flip it up. Now, the same thing happened. It can be any color and there's a white top. Okay, this is pretty confusing for new learners. If, if you can't find the right match, look around and find the correct edge and just move it and you have this. Now you can just flip it. And obviously, next. It's just same. So you can just flip it. Now let's get solving onto the first layer. Now the white cross is done. Let's move on to the first layer. Okay. So there are three different algorithms for each corner. Why I mean is you need this is not a very tricky part. So, find a white side of the corner, anywhere on the co corner, on the sides of the corner. It could be over here, or here, or here. And you need two different colors over here, or over here. Green can be over here, red can be over here. It can be jumbled up. So, except yellow, okay? Make sure that that is one one case. There, as I mentioned, there are three different algorithms. So the first thing you need to do is this is the first algorithm. Anti clock up. Make make sure the red side is facing you, facing you, your face. Okay. After you've got the red side or any color facing you, you can flip the cube, flip the cube from the facing part of, like I mentioned red, you can flip it up, then you can turn this clockwise, then you can just pull it down. Now you have a type of L shape, two L shapes joining together. That's what I want you to, you guys to do. As I mentioned, there are three different algorithms. So this is just the first algorithm. Now, let's find a different one. So if you have this, this type, and they're not matching, because this is red, that, that doesn't match, find the cor cor correct, correct um, centers. This one orange center, this one green center. This is a pretty, pretty most the same algorithm that was before for the 
red and green, so you could pretty sure do that. And easy. We have two of them done. Okay, now look for the correct one. These are these are not matching. These both centers are not matching. Now you can find the correct centers which are matching, and it's pretty it's pretty the same. You can just keep on doing this, which makes it like this. Okay, this is bit bit different. First, you need to keep the orange side or anything else facing you. If if the white is on top, that means that'll take a bit long to twist and turn i'm sure you can do it so right hand side up two times clockwise upwards then this part down then anti-clockwise upwards then up then right hand side up again and then you can just upwards clockwise and down and you got the first layer solved now, this is where the tricky part comes. We are going to cover the entire second layer of the cube, guys. This is a bit tricky part. Okay. We have this. We, I want, I want a long t I want a long line over here. With a orange or any color over here. It has to at least be two colors, except yellow, except yellow. This can't be because there's no yellow centers over here. Match it. I want you to be, it be like this, a long T with any color. Then I want, if, if you have done that, flip it on the left side, then do a right, a righty algorithm, which is up anti-clockwise down up then turn your cube on the opposite color then you can just left hand side up then finally anti-clockwise then down and you have this entire square complete if you have something like this, I just want you to do this. Up, clockwise, down, and the same, pretty much the same thing that we did for this. Okay, now this part is over here. You can just scroll it down here and make the long T shape. And that's pretty much the same you need to do. Do this. Face the opposite color, and you just need to keep on doing this. There's no different algorithms, so you just keep on doing it. Turn it this way, write the algorithm, then put it to the opposite color, then do that. Just keep the same thing. So you just do this, and keep on doing that. Then this you just press the opposite color then you just go down and you have the second layer solved this is what i want you got it to be the second full layer solved we have a the second layer done as you can see let's move on to the cross of the yellow it's called a yellow cross same as the white cross Yellow cross is the three formations. First, there is a L. Don't worry about these. Don't worry about these two corners. There's an L right over here. Or a dot without any yellows around it. Or a simple line without ye any yellows above it or below it. So if it's a line, simply just one time you have to do the algorithm, which I'll just soon show you it and if it's a l you have to do it twice and if it's a dot you have to do it three times okay the algorithm is sideways over here try the algorithm then down and i have to do it again because it's a l and i have to and i have to do that twice so 
up, right the algorithm, and down. Now we have a cross, if you can see. Now let we have done the cross, we can pair up the edges. First thing I want you to do is find two parts right over here. Or if or I will show you in a minute if if you can't find it, it can be over here or here. So the first thing I need you to do, I need you to flip this up anti-clockwise this way upwards, then down, then up, then then do it again anti-clockwise another time, then up. Then twice, anti-clockwise, then down. Then, I'm pretty sure you will pair the edges. You have to do this few times, like I couldn't do it again. So if I'm lucky on the other, other time, that means I could do it. So these are paired up. Nice, these are paired up. Now you can just flip it again. Then down, then up. Anti-clockwise twice, then down. You have, go if you just flip it to the right color, you have paired the edges. These are the edges done. We are almost there, guys. We can do it. We, can, we have a goal of solving the cube. Okay, let's start making the edges right. Like, you mean this? This one is pairing up, this one is pairing up, this one's pairing up with this, that one's pairing up with that, with, and the yellow part is on. So, let's try to make it all the corners. These are all the corners a bit wonky. There's two more steps left. So, I want, if you find this, or a, any side of the corner, you can just flip it this way, this way, up this way up this way up that way then down then this way then you can just put it down now you you pretty sure might have have all of these done or one of them one of them solved so all of these are equal these are all equal that's all equal that's all equal but if you can't find if you can't find any 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 si single match or not even one keep go to a random side of the cube and keep on doing that algorithm you i'm 100% sure this is going this one of these will will be up here after you've got that after of then after you've got that up here let's do the last step flip the cube up the white side has to face up. So keep on doing righty algorithms. Look at my hands. Okay, we have this corner solved. I'm sure this will be, be solved in no time. We have this solved. Now we can do the same thing. And ta-da! Your cube is finally solved. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please subscribe. I hope you learned something new from this video. Thank you guys. Bye!